All right, we're going to teach you about charting fluency-based instruction. And this is super important to us as precision teachers because precision teachers are pretty obsessed with fluency. If you want to learn more about fluency, type in fluency and precision teaching into your Google search bar and you'll find all kinds of resources. We also are going to develop a course on exactly how to do this with all the little components for all the different types of learners. So stay tuned for that. All right, Amy, so let's get started. We're going to choose to chart on a, we're going to do 20 second timings for fluency based instruction. So I'm choosing 20 seconds because I'm working with a learner who doesn't really have the capacity to, to practice for much longer than that, especially at high rates. So I'm choosing 20 second timing in Intervals. We're going to do our first timing and they're coming in with six corrects and four errors. Okay, 20 second timings. So you put your record floor right here on your first timing of the day. Then you have to figure out how many would six correct in 20 seconds be in a minute. So you multiply that by three and six times three is 18. Did I get that right, everybody? Yeah. Okay. So there's where you'd put your dot for six corrects. And you said three incorrects. Yeah. So three incorrects would be right around here. Again, three times three would put you right here. There's awesome. our first timing of the day. Cool. So now we do error correction. We do some teaching. We've got some errors to address that happened in that first timing. Now we're going to jump back in and do another practice. We're going to do another 20 seconds. They come in at nine correct, one error. Okay. So last time we had seven. This time we have nine. So nine times three is 27. That puts us all the way up here. And how many errors did you say, Liz? Just, just one. <laughs> just one error, that's easy peasy. You're just gonna put it right on the record floor of the counting time bar. Awesome, you got it. So then we're gonna do a little bit more practice error correction in between. We can already see that our error corrections are effective because those X's are dropping down on the chart. Third timing we come in, we get 15 correct, zero errors. Okay, so three times 15 puts us at 45. We're all the way up here. That's a beautiful movement for one day. Okay, and how many errors? Zero. Zero errors. Zero errors puts us right below here, right around there. So this is something I would recommend doing in real time. You do the timing, you chart the timing, you do the timing, you chart the timing, you do the timing, you chart the timing. Not something you would go back and do after the fact. This is part of our in-depth analysis while we're within our session with our learners. We're gonna stop for the day now, and maybe that's because we're doing what we call a set aim day, which is our baseline day. You could also set a daily improvement goal, or you should also set daily improvement goals if you are further along in your phase of instruction. So you would keep going until you hit that daily improvement goal or do interventions if you weren't moving in the right direction. But for the purpose of this example, we're going to be done for the day. So we're gonna take our best timing of the day and we're gonna transfer that over to the daily per minute. So now we'll find the day line that we were on. So maybe this was a Monday, maybe it was a Wednesday, Friday, doesn't matter. Um, Depending on what day we're on, we'll find that 20 second timing and put our record floor here for a 20 second timing. And then we'll just chart that one best timing of the day. So here's our dot and our X down here. And that is our data point that we're gonna use to make our decisions on the daily chart. Awesome. And then tomorrow we're gonna come back in. We're gonna set a goal to be higher, a higher performance than today. And we're going to keep going with those. And then we can make database decisions on both that timings chart to whether we're going in the right direction or we're needing intervention. And then we can also make those database decisions on that daily chart. I'm Amy. And I'm Liz. And we are Octave Innovation. We teach people how to implement precision teaching, get their stuff that they're already doing. If you do discrete trials or naturalis naturalistic teaching, we teach you how to get that on the chart and bring precision teaching into what you already do. So check out the link below. We have offerings for individual practitioners as well as for organizations setting up systems, et cetera.